Hey you guys, I just filmed this everyday tutorial. It's easy to do and kind of quick and wearable pretty much anywhere. It's kind of just my go-to neutral look. Sometimes I do choose to put some individual lashes, but I did it today just because I wasn't really feeling it. I don't feel like I needed it today. But sometimes if I feel like my eyelashes aren't cooperating, I'll stick a few on the ends just to add some extra drama and some definition. I really hope you guys like this. Please keep letting me know what you'd like to see next. It's really helpful. And thank you so much for all the support you're showing me and all the great comments you guys leave me. I appreciate it so much. It's so encouraging. Thank you guys. Okay, you guys, so we're just going to jump right into it. I started by cleansing and moisturizing. I also like to apply some argan oil to the drier parts of my skin. Using what's left on my fingers, I just moisturize my lips. I'm going to be using my favorite foundation, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer 2-in-1. And the shade I use is in Golden Natural. I'm using this dense blending brush by e.l.f. So the way that I blend out my foundation is I just tap it out very lightly keeping that foundation exactly where I need the most coverage. Oh, and uh, go grab a snack. We're going to be here for a while. Now we're going to color correct with this yellow shade before we apply our concealer. Underneath my eyes and just kind of all around my eyes in the inner corners get super dark and kind of purple and bluish, so I like to apply this yellow shade to just kind of counteract that. Just blending that all over my lids as well. And taking my big fluffy brush again, just blending that out really well. I'm going to be concealing with my NARS Creamy Concealer. And my shade is in Custard. This concealer definitely has a yellow undertone and I find that to work best with my skin tone. I'm also going to be applying that into the inner corner because we really want to brighten up our eyes. And also down the bridge of my nose and my chin as well. A little bit on my forehead, also concealing any breakouts I might have. And just using my ring fingers to blend out the concealer I just applied. I think the heat from my fingers really helps blend out that product. And still I'm just blending out in like a tapping motion, I'm never wiping. Now I'm going to take this mini buffer brush, it's by Morph, and it really gets into those little corners to help blend out my concealer. Also, a list of all the products I'm using will be in the bio down below. And there goes my brush. A little super glue and we're all good. I'm going to be taking this dark brown contour stick by ColourPop, carving out those cheekbones, little bit on my forehead contouring my chin and my nose here I don't really like to contour my nose too much because it's already kind of long so I don't want it to look longer I just kind of want it to look a little bit shorter so that's how I shorten the tip Again, I really do find that my fingers are my best blending tool because the heat just really blends it out flawlessly. And then taking that buffing brush and just going right over the edges. And also you guys, I did cut out a lot of the parts that I'm blending in, but I do blend forever because I do think that the darker shades are always harder to blend out, so definitely blend until all those lines are nice and smooth. And now that that's all blended out, I'm going to be taking my Airspun Translucent Setting Powder, a small tapered brush. And right now I'm just worried about getting that concealer set with this powder. I'm not really going to do any baking, as I actually do kind of like a dewier look for my everyday. And wherever I'm the most oiliest, that's where I apply the powder first, and that's where I apply the most. Setting that contour as well. I did my brows off camera, but if you guys do want to see how I do them, I have a video on that as well. I'm going to be bronzing with my favorite bronzer. It's the Alexis Ren and ColourPop Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. 
and I'm taking a fluffy tapered blending brush to apply it. Sweeping it all over my cheekbones, all over my forehead, underneath my chin, along my nose, just to kind of bronze up my face. Then I'm taking this cream highlighter by ColourPop, warming it up a little bit with my finger and applying it that way. I apply this all along the higher parts of my cheeks, my cupid's bow, along my nose, also along my brow bone, using this ColourPop eyeshadow palette, taking this warm brown shade in a fluffy morph brush. So this is going to act as my transition shade. This is going to make the darker colors blend out way easier and way more seamlessly. Just blending that all the way up to my brow bone and then kind of winging it out a little bit. Then I'm taking this darker warm brown shade in a smaller more dense brush and I'm concentrating this right into my crease. I'm taking the time to just kind of place the color before we blend it out. Just taking that big fluffy brush that we were using before. And I'm just blending it upwards still keeping that crease a little bit darker than the rest. Now I'm going to be highlighting my inner corner with the shade from the ColourPop eyeshadow palette. And I find that this really brings the whole look together. It kind of just wakes you up and opens up your eyes. Now I'll be aligning my upper waterline with a brown eyeliner by ColourPop in the shade Call Me. And I'm taking a small angled liner brush. And I found an easier way to do this was to just warm up the product on the back of my hand and then dip my brush in it that way. And now I'm just creating a very subtle brown wing. I'm just following the angle that my eyeshadow is blended out to. And I kind of like a softer wing. I'm not really um, too worried about it being super sharp. I kind of want it to be like blended out. I'm going to be curling my eyelashes with a Revlon eyelash curler. You guys, this mascara is definitely my favorite of all time and it is so cheap. I think it was $2 at Walgreens. It's called Best Lash Extreme by Jordana. I don't feel like I need a whole lot of it, just a few swipes. So that's about it for my eyes. And moving right along, taking a little bit more of that argan oil, I'm just smoothing that right over my lips. This is the only lip liner I ever use. It's called Whirl by MAC and it's just the most universal rosy brown shade and I just think it's so pretty. So first I'm outlining my bottom lip and then my top lip and then blending inward. And a way that I found that makes your lips look a little bit more plump is I put a few lines down the middle and on like the very corners of my lips so it looks like your lips are a little bit more puffy. So here's the line down the middle and down the quarters, and then I blend that out with my finger. And then I'm taking this sheer pink lip gloss shade from ColourPop, and I'm just going to go right over the top of what we just did. And that's all for the lips. I know they say you're really not supposed to curl your eyelashes after you put mascara on, but as long as you wait for them to dry, then I find that it's okay. Just applying a little bit more of this mascara. And I'm noticing right now that I do have mascara like all over my eyelid, so, and I totally forgot to wipe it off. But all you would do is take a dry Q-tip and just kind of push it off and it'll crumble right off, as long as you let it dry. Now that the makeup's done, I'm going to try to wrestle with this nest on top of my head. And this is the finished look, you guys. I don't know about you guys, but I need my Rihanna while I do my makeup in the background and my smoothie. I hope you guys really liked this look. Please let me know if you guys recreate it or if you have any questions about what I said, any products I used. 
Thanks for tuning in today and keep an eye out for my next video coming soon. Bye love, see you next time.